The prototype MC-21 aircraft with tail number 73057 and factory number MS-0013 has started acceptance and delivery tests at the final assembly facility of the Irkutsk Aviation Plant. This is a significant milestone, as the aircraft has undertaken a complete modernization as part of Russia's import substitution program, which involves the replacement of 100% of previously foreign-made components with domestically produced ones. This prototype is the first in the MC-21 series to be equipped with a composite wing that is exclusively manufactured from Russian carbon fabrics and resin, underscoring the progress of indigenous aerospace materials technology. The aircraft is the first fully import substituted MC-21-310, as it is equipped with a complete Russian electrical power system, hydraulic system, actuators, auxiliary power unit, domestic computers, active side stick controls, avionics, landing gear, and numerous other systems in addition to the composite wing. The aircraft's build process was thoroughly integrated with local manufacturing, as evidenced by the preliminary interior assemblage that utilized domestically produced passenger seats and equipment. The Irkutsk Aviation Plant Specialists used import substituted test bench equipment manufactured in Novosibirsk to test the hydraulic systems, indicating a further transition from dependence on foreign equipment to self-sufficiency. This aircraft, which was the fifth prototype to be carried to Irkutsk for refinement and modernization in 2023, made its first flight in December 2021. It is the first MC-21-310 to be entirely built with Russian components. The aircraft will be transferred to the flight test station for the first flight under this revised configuration on completion of the acceptance and delivery tests. Subsequently, the aircraft will undergo a factory fine-tuning testing program in Irkutsk before being returned to the Yakovlev Flight Testing and Development Base in Zhukovsky. This certification flight will concentrate on the validation of Russian-made equipment with the goal of completing the certification by the conclusion of summer 2026. The United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, the parent company of the MC-21 program and a subsidiary of Rostec, has announced the commencement of acceptance and delivery tests and the conclusion of the final prototype in the import substituted series. UAC asserts that the extent of import substitution in this aircraft is unprecedented, as it involves the replacement of critical systems, including the integrated control system that is responsible for all control surface actuators, which manage the elevator and rudder movements. The hydraulic system testing is also the first application of domestically produced test bench equipment in Russian civil aviation manufacturing. The MC-21 aircraft is a medium-range passenger airliner of the future, specifically engineered to meet the demands of the highly competitive and in-demand passenger transport sector. The aircraft's design incorporates a record high percentage of composite materials, approximately 40%, which enhances its weight efficiency and aerodynamics. Urcut specialists quickly develop domestic equivalents to maintain production schedules, overcoming the challenges of removing foreign components and trade sanctions. The wing was a significant technological accomplishment in this procedure, as it was produced using advanced vacuum infusion and Russian carbon fiber materials. The Aeroflot Group is one of the MC-21's most significant customers, having placed an order for 108 aircraft to be delivered by 2030. The company has plans to increase its MC-21 fleet to 200 units by 2033. By the fourth quarter of 2026, Aeroflot intends to commence operations with the domestically manufactured MC-21 aircraft which will coincide with the conclusion of certification and production ramp-up. The MC-21 program's strategic significance surpasses its commercial success. Anatoly Serishev, 
the Presidential Plenipotentiary Envoy to the Siberian Federal District, visited the Irkutsk Aviation Plant to address personnel issues and discuss development prospects. In the face of geopolitical pressures, he underscored the importance of domestic aircraft manufacturing in maintaining technological sovereignty and reliable regional connectivity. Russia's capacity to sustain autonomous aerospace capabilities without dependence on foreign manufacturers is further reinforced by the advancement of its aviation sector. In the broader context, the MC-21 is a significant technological and industrial accomplishment for Russia, as it represents a significant improvement in the country's architectural, material, and avionics capabilities. The aircraft is well positioned to compete with established narrow-body jets, including the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, and to replace aging models like the Tupolev Tu-154 and Tu-204 on a global scale. The program is making steady progress, despite the challenge of import substitution and the delays caused by international sanctions. The certification procedure and test flights are currently underway. The flight tests of aircraft such as 73057 will be essential for the completion of development and the establishment of serial production and commercial operation within the anticipated timeline. Overall, the modernization and testing of the MC-21 prototype with tail number 73057 serve as a witness to Russia's concerted effort to achieve technological independence in the aviation sector. The culmination of years of strategic development and innovation efforts is the integration of Russian-made composites, engines, avionics, and critical systems into a competitive airliner. The performance and safety of the fully import-substituted MC-21 will be further validated through factory and flight testing in Irkutsk and Zhukovsky. The goal is to complete certification by mid-2026 and initiate operations shortly thereafter. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.